This morning, oh Heavenly Father, we come to you in the humblest way we know how. Yes. Lord, we come asking for mercy. For mercy, please, our case. Open up our hearts and our minds to that word and to that will. Lord, we can't do nothing without you. We just need a special touch from you this morning. Please, Jesus. Touch us, Lord, like only you can. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be accepted in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen, amen, amen. Our text this morning is coming out of the book of Acts. Acts, the second chapter, verse 1 through 4. Acts, the second chapter, verse 1 through 4. And our theme is God, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. God, Holy Spirit. My question this morning is asking you, this is the coming of the Holy Spirit, on earth to dwell with men in this text. But the question is, what is Pentecost? I know we didn't heard it said a lot. You know, Pentecost is like you foaming at the mouth or you getting some kind of feeling from the outside or from the inside from God. But just tell me what is Pentecost to you, what it means to you. And of course I tell you, it's just the spirit dwelling and coming down to get inside of us. Yes, sir. And once it's on the inside of us, we got it. Yeah. This is a Pentecostal experience. You hear people talking about the Pentecostal experience, where they just run around in church and get filled with the Holy Ghost or, or shouting. Do Baptists have a Pentecost? Mm -hmm. I'd like you to know, March the 31st was the Pentecost of this year. Yeah. It's funny, but we're in a Pentecostal season. Mm -hmm. That's when the Spirit of God is dwelling upon us and have come. You remember in the book of Acts 1, 8, where he said that he would endow you with power. And when you get power, you should go out and teach and preach to all nations, uh -huh. Samaria, Judea, and all around the world. This is what was happening here in this text. They have been dwelled with power, or God have dwelled and gave his indwelling power. Uh -huh. It's not on the outside no more, now it's internal. And this is where this text is coming from. It was talking about the spirit is coming to get upon us. But for first, before they got in the upper room, you know Jesus told them to go up there and wait. Mm -hmm. And while they was up there waiting, being fearful and scared because of what had happened to him, Jesus done been on the earth for a while. And what's happening here in the text, it says there's seven Sundays, seven Sabbath Sundays. Mm -hmm. Seven weeks. That's what Pentecost is. Seven weeks of feast, a festival. The first fruit harvest. This is what was going on. Mm -hmm. Everybody was in Jerusalem at this time. All these different nations and nationalities. And like I said, in some cases, they said it was like it was 120 up in the room, right. in the upper room. Right. But they had to make a decision now. Because, you know, Judas then tried to kill himself and then try to hang himself. Yeah. That's a disciple missing. So they got some business that they got to get straight. Mm -hmm. They need another disciple mm -hmm. to make the 12. There's a few names that came about, and when the names came about, 
There was a couple of Judas in there, but they didn't want the same type. Mm -hmm. The same type, another Judas or something like that, so they changed. Yeah. And they elected Matthews for this business to carry on this ministry. So when they elected him, now it's complete. Now that business they had is complete now because they got 12 disciples again. Mm -hmm. And they can move on. So now to move on, they move into the Holy Spirit. Right. And this is what's happening here in this chapter, Acts 2. And it reads, when the day of Pentecost fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Mm -hmm. When the day of Pentecost fully come, they was with one accord in one place. How many of us on one accord? Of course we're in one place, and the place they were talking about is Jerusalem at this time. Mm -hmm. But all of them in that same area. And I think Philippians 2, 5 said, let this mind be in you that was in Christ yes. Jesus. Yeah. This is what was going on with them. They was being anointed and being told what to do. God is giving them instructions what they should be doing. Uh -huh. Now that they handle this business. Now that they got this power inside of them, now they got to go out and tell the world. All right. But you remember they were fearful and scared because they didn't want to get killed or be like, you know, Jesus and let somebody know they were Jesus. You remember Peter? He had to take off running. Thomas them then took off running. Yeah. Everybody's splitting up because now is this Jesus thing working? Because they're scared. Mm -hmm. But it also says that Pentecost was like 50 days after Easter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You count 50 days after Easter, you have Pentecost. Yeah. That's just how simple it is. So when your people tell you about the Pentecost, you have something you can tell them in seven weeks, seven Sabbath Sundays. And we also know it was 50 days that he was here. So during this time, he had to ascend to go back up to the heaven. Mm -hmm. So we know he ascended up to the heaven. And he went and he stayed to take care of his business. Yes, sir. So we know why they was on one accord. And we know they was in the place of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a mighty rushing wind. Suddenly. I want you to get with me with that suddenly. Suddenly. suddenly there came a sound. They had to hear something. Three things is going on in the text. Mm -hmm. They heard something. Yeah. It's loud and it was different from anything else. Mm -hmm. Imagine the people around Jerusalem were feeling the same way because this is something they have never seen before. Yeah. But this sound like a mighty rushing wind like we have now in our tornadoes and our hurricane and how the wind just whaps and get up. It was something new to them, yeah. but it came in that room. Yeah. So they was all on one accord in yeah. that room. Right. But suddenly, 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 how many of you need Jesus to do something for you suddenly? Oh, yes. You know, he ain't got to wait till next week or next month or whenever. Oh, Jesus is yes. a suddenly God. He can do this right now. Yes. He's suddenly. Uh -huh. He can do it whenever he wants to because yes. he have all power. Yes, he does. In his hand. Yes, sir. So what was happening here, it said, and he lifted. And he filled the whole house where they were standing. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be filled? Mm. This is what the Spirit is asking. Do you want to be filled with the Holy Ghost? Right. Do you want to be filled with the power that he's talking about? I think a few people used to sing a song, used to laugh about it. Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you get that power? Yeah. This is the power you need right now. The Holy Spirit is coming to fill you. Yes, sir. And with me, I keep saying, fill me up, Lord. Mm. Fill me up, Lord. Yeah. Fill me with that anointing, with that power, and with that spirit. Because yes, once you feel me, I'm filled. Yes, sir. And when the day of Pentecost fully came and they came inside of them, they got the Holy Spirit. That's their guide. That's their teacher. That's their life. Uh -huh. So now that this work that they have to do, they empowered to do it. Yeah. Man can't give you that kind of power. Oh, yeah. Only God can give you that kind yes, of power. Sir. And so when God filled them, they was endowed with power. And it sat on them, sat on everyone in the house. Imagine the Holy Spirit just sitting on you, mm. just resting on you. Wow. Just, oh man, right. I can't explain it to you. It's something you had to experience on your own. Mm -hmm. That's that one-on-one -on -one relationship, that one-on-one -on -one contact with God that you would have. Yes. Yeah. That was the first thing that happened. They heard a sound. It used to be a song that said, have you heard from the Lord? Have you heard from the Lord? Mm -hmm. 
It's something to think about it. Do you want to hear from the Lord? Yeah. This morning, if you want to hear from the Lord, just open up your ears and your heart and your mind. Oh, yeah. He speaks to us on a daily basis. Yes, he does. So once they hear something, faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. Yeah. So once you hear something, you got to do something with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it went on to says, the second thing that happened was that they saw something. Yeah. What did they see? And the scripture goes on to say, and there appeared unto them divers tongues, a clover tongues of fire. Mm -hmm. Divers tongues and clothes of fire, they're in this room and this fire is coming and sitting on each one of them, mm -hmm. which is the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Now they feel like they don't want to coordinate them. This is the first time all these different nationalities, and if you read further on down the text, there was Portuguese and Arabs and Europeans, yeah. Japanese, Russians, or whoever the case may be. All of them was there. But what was happening in the text, God put them on one mind and on one accord. Yes. So they say, isn't these Galatians, why are they speaking in our tongue? Mm -hmm. I can understand fluently because that's how the Holy Spirit works. Yes. Now that he's working, everybody understands what's going on. And this word is going out. It's so powerful. Yeah, huh? Imagine the people on the outside, the mother too, they, they see this fire like a meteorite that's coming down. And yeah. they're like, well, what's going on in the inside of them? Mm -hmm. And I imagine as they was going on, they was basically saying, these guys must be drunk with this new wine. Mm. I think Peter come to him and told him, no, they ain't drunk. This is the Holy Spirit that yes. comes, and he's resting on them. Oh, yeah. He's giving them the power. Now they can go out. What the Great Commission says, go out teaching all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Teaching them to observe all things. We all got that commission. We all got that challenge to do. We all as witnesses for God. Mm -hmm. So now we got a charge to keep. Yeah. A God to glorify. Uh -huh. You follow me? Yeah. This is what this is about. You have been empowered with the spirit of God. Yes, sir. Now that you're empowered with the spirit of God, you can walk heavy. Oh, yes. You can go in all directions, mm -hmm. anywhere, mm -hmm. because now you got this power. This power is not like no other power. Oh, yeah. This is power is talking about Jesus. Yes, sir. So upon getting that, they find out what they needed to know. Mm -hmm. So now they can go out and tell the world mm -hmm. about the Savior yeah. and what had happened. Okay. The same Jesus that you're seeing, and I can hear him saying, you Galatian, why are you standing here gazing yeah. up into the heavens yeah. where he ascended from? Yeah. He's gone from here. Yes, he's been yes. gone from there. Mm -hmm. This same Jesus same that you're waiting on, he's coming back. Yes, and when he's coming back, he's coming to do the work of his father. Yeah. Are you doing the work of your father? Mm -hmm. This same Jesus that rose same Lazarus Jesus. from the dead, yeah. he's back. Yes, you follow me? He's got power. Yeah. He's letting you know all power in the heaven or in his hands. Yeah. He got Holy Ghost power, yeah. loving power, yeah. teaching power, yeah. obeying power, yeah. giving power. Yeah. God got all power oh, in his yeah. hands. And he's giving it to you for you to get out and do what you have to do. Yes, sir. This same Jesus that you saw back then, uh -huh. he's still the same right now. Yes, he is. Right. Do you want to be a witness for him this morning? Mm. Right. Reverend Cross, I need you right now. Yeah. I definitely need you to sing this song for me. I know we, it's strange for me, but I thank you, Lord, for your power. Thank you. I thank you for your mercy, and yes. I thank you for your grace. Because if it had not been for the Lord on my side, yeah. I don't know where I'd be this morning. Mm -hmm. It's a short word, but it's just to tell you, once you hear something from the Lord, once you see something from the Lord, open your mouth and let people know that you are his own. This is our prayer for invitation. Father God, we thank you. We magnify you. We glorify your name yes. in all things. Touch in a special way this morning, oh Lord. Because we need you in times like this. We need you to be our guide. We need you to be our truth. We need to stand on that word, Lord. It's time. Thank you. Lord, I just thank you. Is that one this morning? You can come by Christian experience. You can come by baptism. 